Hey guys, welcome to part two of the video. Um, like I said in my first one, um, I'm just recording this on Saturday and I'm gonna post it tomorrow. I just got a busy um, day, to, kind of a busy day tomorrow and I got stuff to do the next day, so I, I had recorded this today, so don't mind doing that, but let's see what I got. I'm um, starting with the Cadillac CTS wagon in black from the Cadillac series. Really cool casting, really happy to find it. Um, it's a cool wagon casting, cool Cadillac. I like this one. I like the. Is that black? Yeah, it's black. It's pretty cool black. It's pretty cool casting. It has front and rear deco. Really happy about it. A pretty cool car. It's gold rims, which are. Yeah, they're okay. That's pretty cool. I like that Cadillac casting. Next up, also from the Cadillac series, is the 55 Cadillac Fleetwood in blue. Awesome Cadillac, one of my favorite Cadillac castings from Matchbox. Um, hope I find the rest of the series because it's a really awesome uh, set from Matchbox. I love Cadillacs, and especially these old school ones. This one's cool. I love the blue. Doesn't have any de rear front decal, but it's just simple. I love the darker blue on top. This is an awesome casting. I love these old Cadillacs, so this one's really cool to find. So that one's just cool. It's an awesome new Cadillac I add in the collection. It's a second one of those too, so it's a different color. Next up to um, some hot wheel, light Hot Wheels. Starting with the two Jet C in red. Pretty cool. I like this better than the... Uh, actually, no, I don't. I, I, the black one's still a little bit better, but the red one's pretty cool. Um, it is based off a real car, which is kind of crazy. It's cool looking. I love the, the shark teeth and the eye there, which is cool. It's a pretty cool casting. I like it. I love the rims. Looks like a jet fighter, which I think is cool. So that's a really cool little casting. Next up is the Hot Wheels Rapid Response Fire Truck, which is really cool. Pretty cool, um, like regular Hot Wheels car. These are the main hot wheel castings are pretty cool. I like the yellow. That like the Jerry front grill is pretty cool. It looks like from the eighties. It's pretty cool looking. Rooms are okay. I like it. Not too bad. Next up is the muscle and blow like hot rod looking car. More like a based off a real like a modern car though. It's okay, not as good as the other two. Like rat, rat rod kind of style, but it's not that bad. I think it looks cool. I like the rims on it. The front ones anyways, the back ones are nice cool. Has a nice little engine up front. This is pretty cool looking. I like this casting. It's pretty cool. It's a new casting too, so. Next up is the NT500 Robo and Hot Wheel Delivery. I love this little, um... Indie car, hot wheel car. It's pretty cool. Kind of generic, but it's not that bad. It has this hot wheel racing to live around, which is cool. Matte blue finish. I like this one. Pretty cool indie car. Of course, it's a orange bottom, but it's a hot wheels for you. That's still pretty cool looking. Happy to find that. Next up is the um, the Dodge Charger NASCAR. Hot Wheel Delivery, which is cool. It has a number three on top, which I think is pretty cool. I love this casting, um, especially since it's based off a NASCAR. And these rims work really well. They look like they're actually a NASCAR rim. This is really cool. It's based off the 2006 and 5 Dodge Charger. So I really like it. I love that Dodge Charger a lot. Yeah, this one's really cool. Definitely um, one I had to get. That one's just cool. I love these old Dodge Charger. Charger stock cars. Those rims are just really perfect on this thing too. So that's a cool car to add. Next up is the Formula E Gen 2 car. And it's basically a Por Porsche sponsored edition one. Which is really cool. I was hoping they would do this eventually. Definitely cool. I love the white and black mixture with the red. Red and black is just a great mixture in my opinion. This is cool. The front end. Porsche. It's a great layer, which is really cool. 
this is pretty, this cast is growing on me. Um, I'm not the biggest Poor Manly fan, but these open wheel cars were pretty cool. So happy to find that one. Next up is the Mercedes Benz Unimog 1300. Pretty cool casting. Not one of my favorite Unimog castings from Hot Wheels or Matchbox, but not that bad. Next yeah, pretty cool rims, not the best. Like that front end though. <clears throat> pretty cool car has the tires in the back. It's cool little eye edition. It's just a cool little truck. Like that casting. Nothing really to say about it though. That's pretty cool. Next up is the Subaru WRX STI in white. This is a recolor. I like the white better than the yellow. White cars do smell good when you crack it all open though. Pretty cool little Subaru. Kind of generic, but it's not that bad. I like the STI on the side though. That's pretty. It's a pretty decent casting. One of my favorite uh, STI um, Subaru castings, definitely from Hot Wheels, though. So I like that one. Next up is the 2021 Ford Bronco in orange. This one's really cool. I like this casting. I, I still prefer the blue one, though. The two colors. That one's still cool, though. I like Bronco on the side. I like the front car has Bronco on it. No rear deco, but that's not that bad. Still pretty nice truck though. I like it, the way it looks and everything. So that one's cool. Next up, another one that's not really new. It's just changed up for the main line. It's the Chevy Silverado Off-Road. That one's cool. I, looks, I think it looks better though in the human version of it. It's pretty cool. I love getting the new Chevy Silverado added to the collection. Front grille, nothing too special. Same with the rear. And the side deck coats aren't too bad. Rims are pretty cool too. It's nice little casting. There's some scrapes right there. When, this is what you give her a $1 car. Can't be too perfect. Pretty decent casting though. Gotta add that one to the collection. Next up is the 67 Camaro. I love this tooling. I just don't like how they, they move. You can't open the hood anymore. And it's that fully metal, but still, I still like this casting. This recolor is a lot better than the first one, I think. Love the gold. Goldish color to it. It's a decent casting. One of my favorites since I was growing up. So that one's really cool. Really happy to find this one. Next up is the AMC Rebel Machine. Really cool. Oh, that blue has good wrench on it, so I think that's really cool. Love these old school muscle cars. Can't go wrong with them. The AMC Rebel Machine's a cool one. Underrated muscle car, in my opinion, too. Cool front end, and rear end, runs pretty good. It's a pretty cool casting. I like it. I like that front end too. Next up is the 87 Buick Regal G GNX. Brand new casting, really like this one too. Love these old school 80s Buicks. That one's really cool. Looks like a Grand National, but I know it's not, but it's so cool looking. No front or rear deco, but pretty solid paint scheme. It's not too bad. I like this one. It's pretty cool looking. The rooms fit it too. I usually don't like these rooms. It actually fits this car. It was a nice Buick added to the collection. Next up is this um, Spider-Man Maximum Venom, whatever. I like the car though. It's a, uh, what is it? Tail dragger is like an old 30s, maybe an old 40s Ford. So, that's why I got it. Not really for um, Spider Man stuff, but that one's pretty cool. It's pretty heavy too, it has metal body, plastic base, nothing too special. So, pretty cool though, I love that front end though. That's pretty cool to find. Next up is the uh, Pop Culture, Master of the Universe, Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300L. This is a premium version of the other Unimog. Like I said, I really don't care for the, um, the main job, but I just like this casting a lot. Like those rims a lot. 
That's an awesome Unimog. It's a pretty cool truck. I like this one a lot. Happy to find that. Next up from the Fast Wagons is the 64 Chevy Nova Car Culture. Really awesome casting. I like this um, Nova casting a lot from Hot Wheels. And both variants too from it. I'm only missing that from the Wagon series is the Audi and the Nissan Skyline. This one's really cool. I love the rims. But that pure white top. I like the tan interior. It has rear and front deck. And front deck also. So it's really cool. It's a premium car. So it has all the decos and everything. But that's a really cool car. It has a little weight to it. Which is cool. That's pretty cool to find though. I'm really happy to get that. Next up also from the Fast Wagons is the Volvo P220 Amazon Wagon. Really cool brand new casting. Um, I think of the two Volvo Wagons though, this one's my least favorite. I like the 80s and 90s style a little bit better. So cool though, I like the front end, fully decaled. Pretty cool, the rims are really nice on this. It's a pretty nice cast, it looks better in person than it was on Instagram or on video. That was really cool, I'm really glad I finally got this wagon. That's a cool addition. Next up, um, Car Culture Wave 4. Finally, that one's a new not Car Culture Authentic, starting with Michael on it. Um, pilot Flying pi Pilot Car, Xfinity Car. Pretty cool. Tally, you only come with stickers with really now. So that's a sticker. Nothing too special. I'm not really going to keep the sticker because I not really care for the stickers that much. Pretty cool though. I don't mind Michael in it. I like that paint scheme a lot. I like these Chevy Xfinity cars. It's a pretty cool car though. I like it. Yeah, that one's cool. I'd add this one to the collection. Oops. It's a cool Michael and that car. Next up, probably my favorite of the two from the NASCAR Phoenix is uh, Ryan Blaney's Menards. Monin paint scheme, which is really cool. I still like Ryan Blaney. It says I'm sticking with Hendrick, and I should have always stick with Hendrick, but I might keep the sticker. Because Blaney I still like a little bit. Not as much as I used to, but um, still pretty cool paint scheme. I do like his schemes. Rooms are pretty cool. I like that. Monin paint scheme's pretty cool. Rear end's pretty nice. Really happy to find this. That's a cool Ryan Blaney car to find. Really happy about that. And finally, um, is an. Team Transport's 65 uh, Mercury Comet Cyclone and a Ford C800 um, truck. Right there. I don't I get these Team Transports that often, but when I do, I get really happy. Especially ones I wanted to find, like, like this one I did want to get. Like the Cyclone, I don't have this truck, and this is one of the trucks I wanted to find. That was really awesome. Here's a truck. This truck is really cool. Easily one of my favorite trucks that you can easily put a car like right up here. And then put one like right under here. Just like that, which is really cool. So that is a really cool truck. Really happy I found one of these. Next up is the Mercury Cyclone. Love this casting. That front end is really cool. I love the paint scheme. Love these old dragsters. That rear deco is really nice. It's an awesome new addition too. So it was a really good week. Really like what I got. Um, 
I got lucky just because of vacation I went to Walmart I'd never been to before. So I was really happy about that. Some of these were leftovers, and I actually found stuff at my local Walmart um, on Sunday when I went grocery shopping. So I got lucky there, too. So hopefully the luck continues. And um, if you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and notification bell. You guys are awesome. Please share my videos because I really enjoy making these. And I just passed it's my 31st week doing this. So thank you for the support, and please continue um, helping with this video. So please like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.